Hi Cancers, Trishna here. Welcome to your Cancer December 2021 Love, Tarot, and Psychic reading. So before we get into the Love, Psychic, Tarot reading for December 2021 for my beautiful Cancers, I have a few things that I want to mention. The first one is please keep in mind that this is a general reading so it's not going to apply to every Cancer out there. The second one is please also check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign because one of those readings may resonate with you for this month. The third thing is, please note that energies can be flipped, so I may be talking about you in this particular reading, and you may think, no, that's actually my partner. Please know that energies can be flipped, and there is a lot of mirroring in relationships. And finally, if you're interested in a personal reading from me, you can learn more about that or access that in the link in the description box below that leads to my personal website. So with that, I am going to go ahead and shuffle the cards. <clears throat> And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle the cards. We're going to use a free flow spread. As I shuffle, I'm gonna share any insights that I get for you, my Cancers, for December 2021, for love. And then once the cards have come out, I will read the cards after that. So, getting into <clears throat> the Cancer reading, the intuitive psychic insights that I'm picking up right now. Whoa, two cards have already come out for my Cancers. What do my cancers need to know for love for December 2021? Cancers, feel like you're doing okay. I feel like there's a lot going on. A lot, there's a lot. <clears throat> there is a lot. <laughs> okay, let me try to understand what this all is. I feel like there's a lot of emotions going on with regards to love. And so it's kind of like a jumble. It's a jumble of a lot of different emotions. One of them is I feel like you feel confident about love. Maybe not confident. You feel determined. You feel pushy about love. You want to make it happen. You're in this mode where you're overbearing is the wrong word, but you've reached a new confidence or you've reached a new energy, you've reached a new determination for love and you're gonna make it happen. You're gonna go out there and you're gonna talk to people and you're gonna make this happen. So there's kind of this overbearing-ish energy that I feel like you started to take on. Not a bad thing. You've been kind of not super interested in love for a little while, so it's nice that you're getting back engaged and you're not gonna be disrespectful or anything. I feel like this is all just your energy. So. When I say overbearing, it's for lack of a better word. <laughs> I don't mean it in a bad way. So that's part of it. I feel like you are also excited about love. You are hopeful of it. I feel like in some ways you have some rose colored glasses on. I think that's also nice. I think it's been a little while since you've felt that way. I feel like you've been more practical in the past. <clears throat> Maybe really good about noticing red flags and ending things when you notice them, but maybe too good. Maybe not being super open to people and different personalities before, but now you have your rose colored glasses back on. And I think that's okay because it's not like the rose colored glasses of someone who's innocent, who hasn't had experiences positive and negative, who hasn't been hurt before who doesn't know when to be cautious, who doesn't know when to step away and when to stay. It's not that kind of rose-colored glasses. You've been through the journey, you've had your ups and downs, you've had some serious ups and downs in your relationship, Cancer. So now you have rose-colored glasses because you've done a lot of healing, you've you let go of love, you weren't even interested, and now you're getting back to determined and you have this positive view of it again. But it's the rose-colored glasses with the wisdom of your past. So good. Good cancer. I feel like you think you're gonna make 2022 your year for love, for career, for business. It's gonna be your year. You are determined, cancer. I feel like the energy is right for that from what I've been picking up on collective energies in my Various videos, you can go back and watch them. I don't have an actual 2022 video up yet, but I have a few videos of like the Taurus Eclipse, channeling the Seven Sisters, Seven Star Sisters, and then my December monthly video. Like those ones all have little pieces of 2022 in them. 
And just when I'm picking up on there, the energy is like really positive for it to be a really good year for us, at least for this collective audience, because I'm picking up on our energies. <clears throat> so yeah, I feel for you, Cancer, that you will make a lot of progress on your goals. I don't know if you're going to end up exactly where you want to be, like the end result that you're looking for, but you're going to make significant headway. <clears throat> and I think it's going to be really good. I think you're either going to realize even more what you want, or you're going to realize that maybe you want a different version of what you thought you wanted beforehand. So I think it's going to be good. It's going to be a good pivotal year for you too, Cancer. So getting into the cards, we have the Page of Wands. I feel like this speaks to the way that you used to look to relationships, which is what I brought up in the intuitive portion, where you were very much about measuring things, seeing the red flags, sometimes seeing too many red flags, like more red flags than maybe there actually were, and really going about love from the mind perspective, because cancer, I guess you can be very sensitive, so you do try to protect your emotions, and you tend to approach love from a more mental place than you think that you do. You may not think that you do that, but I think I feel that you do. So you've been really measuring relationships in the past. And I think now you're taking this page of wands and you're measuring yourself. Okay, has this process actually worked for me? What results have I actually gotten? Maybe I need to approach things differently than I have before. Maybe I need to honor my cancer nature and be okay with putting myself out there even if I might get hurt because I am cancer the crab. Yes, I have a soft inside, but boy, do I have a tough outside. And my tough outside will protect my soft inside even without me trying. I don't need to hold myself back. I don't need to overanalyze things. If I can put myself out there, my whole soft inside, I can put it out there. And should anything happen, which I don't really think that it will, should anything happen, still it's okay because I can be tough. That's still an aspect of me. It's not just the tough outside and the soft inside. I am integrated in my softness and my toughness in all aspects of me. So I can go out into the world and be brave. Next card we have is judgment. I feel like cancers, you are going to get better relationships going forward. I think that you're in this more overbearing kind of energy. So the first three to four months are not gonna reap the results that you're looking for. Some, they will some, okay? For some of you, it will. But I feel like after about three to four months, you're going to kind of relax and reach this really beautiful balance of being determined, but not overly determined. And having rose-colored glasses, it's going to be a beautiful blend of it. And I feel like then you're really going to have a lot more success. Things are going to, your, th life is going to feel magical just overall. I think also, Cancer though, that you have judged people maybe more harshly than you should have. And I feel like the judgment is also saying that you're going to recognize this in yourself if you haven't already. I feel like some of you already have. And that's going to be another kind of judgment where you're really going to have to assess yourself and how you've been in relationships. And maybe you have been too strict or too cutthroat or something like that. And that's okay. I think once you recognize that, it's going to be really easy for you to slip back into like, okay, that's cool. That's how I used to do it. It's not how I'm going to do it. And you're going to really comfortably slip into knowing how you want to go about relationships going forward and really being the kind of partner that you want to be. Because maybe you didn't realize that this was the partner that you were. And there is a version of partnership that you want to have and that you want to be. And you're going to finally be able to really embody that. There's been a lot of growth that's been happening with regards to protecting yourself and feeling the need for that and letting some of that go. <clears throat> and it's, it's good. It's good, Cancer. I'm excited for you. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. The tables are turning. You may have been overly focused in the past on either reading up on relationships and following all of those rules and playing the game, or you may have been really focused on learning or studying or working on a business or focusing on your career in the past. <clears throat> And so you didn't really devote enough to relationships in the right way. So you've been learning about other things, but not really growing relationship-wise in the past. Now, if you've been reading about relationships and the game and that kind of thing, you may feel like you've been investing in it, but I feel like that investment wasn't really about love. It was about protecting yourself. 
learning the rules to protect yourself, not learning the rules to show love, to be a good partner, but learning the game instead. So your development in the relationship spectrum has maybe not been as developed as other areas of your life. I think that's fine. I think it's perfect that you're coming into this with a little bit more of that, ro of that rose colored glasses innocence. Because through this, you have still strengthened yourself inside, whether you are conscious of it or not. So you have grown, just maybe not as much, and maybe not as obviously as in other areas of your life. <clears throat> then we have the nine of wands. Let's clarify this. What does the wands, nine of wands, want to share with my cancers for love 2021 December? You may still have some weariness. Interesting. You have been hurt by somebody. It could be a partner. It could also be a friend. It could be a friend, maybe of the same gender, maybe female, who maybe said something about you or your relationships or how you handled it and it hurt you. It scarred you. It wounded you. And it made you question yourself. It made you question how you handle love and relationships. And it has made you feel a little bit uneasy. <clears throat> maybe they said that you hurt other people or you hurt your partners and that hurt you to know that or to hear that. And now you're worried about hurting other people. You're worried about hurting your partners. Maybe they said that you're too picky. You're not being realistic. That a person is a person. They can't just tick off all the boxes. Maybe that hurt you because maybe you believe that there is someone that can tick off all the boxes. And you are hurt that maybe they don't share the same mentalities. And you wonder if you really have been just ticking off boxes with people and not really getting to know them. So there is some weariness that you have. So the clarification card is the magician. By the way, you have more major arcana. Well, now it's even. Before I pulled out the clarification card, you have more major arcana cards in the spread than not. And... That means that this is pivotal, 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 important, an important message for you. So we have the magician. You really want to manifest the love that you want. I feel like your specifications of the past maybe didn't work out, but I feel like they are going to work out beyond your dreams. You are going to have to be understanding with them. So like, Maybe one little thing isn't going to quite measure up now, but if you're understanding with them over time, it will measure up to become the full 100%. I think that what your friend told you, if it was accurate, it helped you. It helped you grow. And it's time for you to let go of the hurt or the pain of that because it's time for you to manifest. That's happening now. If it was not accurate, I feel like it is helping you stand strong in what you really want. It maybe made you doubt what you wanted or what you could have, but it's now made you stronger. And it's actually, it was actually the catalyst to help you actually get the specifications that you wanted. If you didn't have that conversation <clears throat> and it didn't really rally you up and trigger you, it your energy wouldn't have been as strong around these specifications that you want as it is now. So it helped you either way. And still, again, let go of that conversation, let go of those comments, <clears throat> let go of what you think that person may or may not think about you based off of that comment. And then we have the temperance card. You've been very patient, Cancer. You've been playing the waiting game. You have been selective about who you dated. You may not always feel like you were. You may sometimes feel like, well, if I was really selective, why did I have all these duds? <laughs> duds of partners, but you were, you were selective. You can't always tell how something's going to go. 
you made good choices. And that's what matters. Now you're going to be operating from your heart instead of your mind. And the powerful thing about that is it's going to work magnificently for you, Cancer. Why? Because normally whenever you follow your heart, you're not really using your mind. And so there is a not a balance, not just you, Cancers, but in general. If we only operate from our heart and we don't utilize our mind, we can end up getting hurt, end up giving up more of ourselves, losing our sense of self-worth because we're not using the mind to be selective, to be discerning, to keep us safe. But cancer, you've already used your mind. You've used your mind. You've created the specifications that you want. The universe heard it. There was a catalyst moment with a friend or something. Somebody said something to you that hurt. It was a catalyst moment for you that solidified your specifications into the universe, into the programming of your reality. And so the mental work has now been done. It's done. It's not that you're only doing the heart work. You're only following your heart and your emotions and have no mind part as part of it. That's not what's happening. It seems that way, or it may seem that way, but you've already done the mental work. So instead of doing it together, you did one first and now you're doing the other. And that's perfectly fine. That's the balance that you are operating with. That perfectly fine cancer is going to serve you well because wherever your heart leads you, your mind has already paved the path for it. It's going to lead you to where you want. So Cancers, that is what I'm feeling for you for December 2021 for your love tarot reading. I hope that it was helpful. If you're interested in getting a personal reading from me, you can access that at the link below in the description box where it will lead you to my personal website. And with that, um, I guess I will see you in January 2022. I am so excited. I hope you have an amazing December 2021 and I will see you in the next year.